Thank you. It's really good to be here. I uh, I actually got in a car accident recently. It's pretty scary. Yeah. It was scary. Like this guy rear-ended me on the highway, and then we pull over into the shoulder, and he jumped out of his car and he started yelling at me. He called me an idiot. I was like, what? Really? I'm the idiot in this situation? Uh, I was reading Chomsky when it happened. <laughs> A Segway, because that's a safer form of transportation. Find a, you laugh, but it's true. Find a Segway is kind of a catch-22, though, because, like, yeah, you can maneuver around the city more quickly, but, like, you have to keep stopping so babes can give you their numbers. Kind of defeats the purpose. They're blinded by the wheels. Uh, speaking of Segways, my name is JP. Those are initials. People ask me what JP stands for every day. It's really annoying. It's really annoying. Like, could you imagine how difficult it is to have to tell people every single day that your name is Jalapeno Poppers? <laughs> My life is very difficult. I'm Irish. My date is the last name. Big dumb Irish name. Uh, Irish guys, we don't age well. You ever notice that? <laughs> Not awesome at aging. <laughs> just you ever see a whole bunch of old Irish guys in one place, just a sea of fat red faces, <laughs> white hair on top. They look like they just got rescued off a mountain. <laughs> Not a selling point. Not a selling point like for a long-term relationship. You know, it's like, yeah, come on, settle down with me. Every year, I'm gonna look a little bit more like a frosted hen. <laughs> Great. We got the uh, family history of alcoholism, obviously. <laughs> Stereotypes are true. Like, I was asking my cousin about this. I was like, how do you know if you're an alcoholic? What's the sign that you really have a problem? And she's like, don't worry about it. You're fine. Uh, you're not an alcoholic unless you need liquor to get through a work day. I thought that was an interesting definition. <laughs> didn't know that you needed to have a job. <laughs> kind of like a real big part of it. My favorite job, I think my favorite businessman is this guy who I see regularly in the summer at my subway stop. What he does is he sells cold waters out of a suitcase. That's, <laughs> that's his small business. I appreciate it. I like his sales pitch the most. He's like, uh, one for one dollar, two for two dollars. <laughs> That's not a deal. That's not a deal at all. I think he's just saying that so people know they're not getting ripped off. He's like, for every bottle of water that you ask me to give you, I'm going to charge you for an additional bottle of water. It's a fixed rate of one dollar per bottle. The maximum number that you can buy is limited to the number that I got here in a suitcase. <laughs> Uh, essentially what I'm trying to say is that the cost of a good or a service is whatever the consumer is willing to pay for it. This is determined by the so-called invisible hand of the market. I'd like to teach us more about economics, but I don't want to be a professor at a university. Because I find that the path to tenure is usually more about politics than it is about academic merit. So I sell waters. It's an honest business, man. Appreciate that, man. I got a problem with this dude, Banksy. You know this clown? Basically, he's a, he's a street artist, and what he does is he takes his really obvious social opinions and he, uh, he turns them into paintings all over other people's stuff. I don't like it. I just don't think people would respect Banksy so much if he wasn't like a mysterious, anonymous guy. Because he's probably just some British kid with opinions. That's all he is. Like, if you talk to Banksy, he'd be insufferable. <laughs> just telling you about his stuff. Like, oh yeah, this one, yeah, this one's about how corporations is bad. <laughs> yeah, it's Ronald McDonald, but he's dressed like Hitler. <laughs> It's both well bad, isn't it? Yeah. It's like a very refreshing take, Banksy. Thank you. Thank you. We're not 
not aware. <laughs> He's like, yeah, did you know that sometimes the police can be the bad guys? <laughs> Think about it. He's like, that, he's like that friend who has dumb tattoos, but you can't make fun of him for it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, if you read it right side up, it says truth. But if you read it upside down, it says monster energy drink. So, pretty cool. You guys have been awesome. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you.